I have no idea how to start this video. So I'm gonna start this video being honest and that I have no idea how to start this. But anyway, this is my opinion and thoughts on if you should buy the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. And instead of just giving specs and giving out stuff like that, I'm just gonna kind of take you on the journey of me coming to the destination of choosing this camera and maybe there's some things from that journey that you can learn and be like okay this isn't the camera for me or you'll go on this journey and be like man i'm gonna i've realized i'm in the same place you are based off everything you've just said and and, and talked about this is the camera that i should choose and uh this isn't a technical video but more of just my thoughts my process and kind of my heart behind filmmaking and why I chose this camera and even more than that I'm going to show you a recent project really quick a uh, short little project that I was able to put together with this camera I think I had it for just about a month and was still learning and getting comfortable with it but this camera it it just brought me so much joy to use and create so that's part of the <laughs> whole thing about why I chose this camera but anyway uh, this is a recent project that I put together of my friend Ryan and it's his journey uh, with his father and that relationship aspect that they've had this was an amazing project to work on I love the camera I love uh, Ryan and I love this piece so check this uh, little piece out and then we'll get to talking some more about should you choose this camera and kind of my process on why I chose it so enjoy this quick project I've been chasing this question my whole life why why did my father choose to leave me ain't like I'm still five years old you know ain't like I'm gonna be sitting up every night asking my mom when's daddy coming home you know who needs him Hey, he wasn't there to teach me how to shoot my first basket, but I learned, didn't I? Hey, I got pretty damn good at it too, didn't I, yeah, Uncle Phil? Got through my first date without him, right? Mm -hmm. I learned how to drive, I learned how to shave, I learned how to fight without him. I had 14 great birthdays without him. He never even sent me a damn card. Die with him! I'm gonna be a better father than he ever was. And I sure as hell don't need him for that, because ain't a damn thing he could ever teach me about how to love my kids. At times, I hated you. And these wounds may never heal. But these questions still remain. How come you don't want me, man? So I had to set the mic down uh, to be able to write. So the mic's on my chest. <laughs> but anyway, when it comes to me deciding on what camera to get and kind of my process in that, it's got to do with two things. But there's a lot that goes into those two things. So when it came to me buying the Black Magic camera, uh, the 4K, this is how I came to, to that destination. So it's really based off this chart right here. It's got to do with the price and it's got to do with the quality. Um, so the more expensive it is, uh, if that doesn't raise the quality of it for me, you know, that doesn't, that doesn't, I don't see the point of doing that. If it's not getting better quality, why spend more money? So if you already know a little bit back, uh, a little bit about Black Magic cameras is, they're great price. So right now you can get a black magic pocket 4k camera brand new for about 1200 bucks. I was able to get mine for 800 bucks using a trade in on a site called MPB. So if you are, that's one way to save money on gear is to get it used. So check out MPB, great way to get camera gear. But anyway, so I got my camera with a trade in for 800 bucks. So got to think about that right there. So I have a black magic pocket 4k camera for 800 bucks. And as you guys can tell from that project, or if you just look on YouTube or other sites, is the image that this camera produces is absolutely amazing. So when it comes to the Blackmagic camera, I don't believe there's a better price that you can spend and get this good of an image. So if I break down kind of how that works for Blackmagic, it's got a really good price, but I believe, you can see my little dot right there, it's got a really good image. So that's gonna raise the kind of the quality of that and should you get it. So this is how I go about my process. And this is how I came to, man, this is the camera for me. I could have spent more money, but say, so I spent 800 bucks on my camera. So we're putting that right there, 800 bucks on my camera. I could have spent, you know, 3,500 on, at this time, I think that's the price of a Canon R5, right? And I don't believe that image is as good as a black magic image. Um, my, that's just my personal opinion. So, that's going to cost me more money, but the quality of the image is not going to be as good. 
And for me, that's a big thing. I wanna get a really, really good image. Now, if you're doing research on the Blackmagic Pocket 4K camera, what you're gonna hear is about battery life and stuff like that. So are you gonna to have to rig out this camera? Well, that depends on your situation. When I'm shooting weddings or shooting things for hours upon hours, yes, you'll need to rig it out. But is it expensive as you think it is? I'm gonna make some, um, I'll make a video down the road about my Blackmagic Pocket 4K rig. But man, think about it. I got my body for 800 bucks and probably after my everything, my cage and battery solution, everything like that was maybe around two grand. So a fully rigged out 4K, great quality. I got it for about two grand, maybe a little bit more. So still cheaper than the Canon, uh, like Canon uh, R5, but also I believe it has a better image. Um, so, but when it comes to quality, image is not the only thing for me. So I wanna remove as many barriers as possible when it comes to me creating. So let's throw that piece of paper to the side and let's talk about uh, barriers in creating. So when you think about an artist or a painter, as uh, the more obstacles there are in that artist's way to create, uh, the more frustrating it is and it's just harder to create. So say if you got a painter, right? The brush that makes their job as easy as possible is probably the one I would use, but it's, it's gotta be the one that's easy as possible to use, but the one that helps them still produce the art they wanna make in a great way. So let's say if you got my art right here, and this is me right here. I'll show you what I'm doing. So you got, you got me and you got my art. You got me and you got my art or film making per se. I need as little barriers in between us as possible. So if I'm trying to get to creating, I need as few barriers in my way as possible. So the more barriers in my way, the harder it is to create. So what does this have to do with choosing the black magic uh, system and camera? I'm not kidding when I say this camera is probably one of the easiest cameras you could ever use. The interface, the way they've laid out the menu, it's so quick and it's so proficient. So again, we've got to do with price, and we're just gonna put Q again for quality, but this quality is gonna have to do with the quality of the barriers that you would say are not in my way. So again, you have a camera that I was able to get used with a trade-in for 800 bucks that you could get if you don't have a trade-in for about 1200 bucks that is gonna remove as many barriers as possible. My handwriting's terrible, it's hard to see, but this is just the way I think. So again, you have a really affordable camera with I'm not kidding guys, I'll make a video about just the interface. It's so easy. So the less decisions and the less things I have to think about, the better that camera system is for me and why I would choose it. Um, so the thing about the Blackmagic camera, I think it beats most cameras on price to quality ratio. So for what you're spending, man, this image is gonna look amazing. So with price to quality, I, don't, I really don't believe you can um, spend less money and get a better image or even really, it's really hard to beat this look, man. It, it just looks amazing and I love it. And you've got to do with uh, creating. So the more things or the less things that are in your way, Blackmagic has designed this camera and it has cinema features. Things is like shutter angle instead of shutter speed. It's just so many quick little ways to customize this camera, the function buttons, the customization. Everything about this camera literally makes it easy uh, to use. So the price, the quality is amazing and it allows me to create. And the last thing right here, using this camera, one of the biggest things for me and something that you should think about is it brings me joy. Uh, I love this camera. Like, like the project I did with Ryan, I couldn't wait to do it with having the features that it had. It allowed someone like me who didn't have a crazy amount of money uh, it allowed me to be able to produce an amazing image and it makes my work stick out. It gives me a look. There's just so many things that I could talk about with this camera, but you may look at this process and be like, okay, I've thought about the price. I've thought about the quality. I've thought about the barriers in which that could be in my way with creating. And I've thought about what camera brings me joy and you may not choose this camera, but that is how I came to decide that this was the best camera for me. Price is amazing. Image is amazing, super easy, has cinema camera features, 
And again, it just brings me so much joy to use. And I think that is probably one of the best ways to go about choosing a camera, not about what everybody else is using, not about what's new, what allows you to be the best painter, artist, filmmaker, creator that you can be. Um, and the camera doesn't make you, but a camera like this makes my job 10 times easier. And there's a lot of stuff you're gonna see online. I promise you it's a little misleading, but this image, everything, I'm gonna pick my mic back up. But everything about this camera, uh, I love it. I'm so glad that I chose this camera. And I think if you choose it, you will love it also. One thing that you could do is you could rent it. If you're like, hey, Justin, I heard what you said, uh, but you're just not sold yet, rent this camera, try it out. And I'm telling you, you're probably gonna wanna buy it. Again, uh, I was able to get mine for about 800 bucks. I traded in an old Canon SL2, which saved me a ton of money, which was like four or 500 bucks. So I got the body for 800 and it's a killer camera. So I believe you should get it. I believe you can produce great images with this camera. I believe you should choose this camera. Uh, I love it. And I don't see myself right now going outside the black magic ecosystem for the price and, and everything they've done. Maybe a year from now, I'll look back on this video and be like, yo, what were you talking about? But from everything I learned right now, this is a great camera. I love it. And it's made me a, a better artist. And also it's super affordable. So is a black magic pocket cinema camera 4K the camera for you? Maybe, maybe not. But use wisdom, uh, try stuff and get out there and create. I'm excited to create some more videos for you guys. So make sure if you want to see more stuff, uh, you like this video and subscribe and let's keep uh, having some fun and I'll see you guys later. Peace.